It's very easy and very normal to get angry and upset during tough times, but making humor out of it and conveying a message is often seen as high intellectual ability. But in this particular case, um, the Annapurna train owner has quite been at the center of a huge political furore after he told the finance minister in our exchange with several people from the industry about how difficult GST is becoming from 5% uh, GST on sweets to 12% on savouries to a jump of 18% on GST with cream filled buns and none if you have buns alone and how often customers tell them Give us the bun, we'll add the butter and jam. It was humor, quite an agony and woe, but it's not been taken quite like that. First, let's listen in to the exchange. Anna ma kadai la. Yana yengle ke niye sweet ke anju percent vachir kinge. GST input kudu kinge. Food ke anju percent vachir kinge input kadai aadhe. Inda car atku pannan de percent vachir kinge. அடுத்தது பேக்கரியில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ப்ரெட்டும் பண்ணும் விட்டுட்டீங்க மீதி எல்லாத்துக்கும் அப் டு இரு இருபத்தெட்டு பர்சன்ட் வச்சுருக்கீங்க இந்த அம்மா வர வேண்டியது ஜிலேபி சாப்பிட வேண்டியது அடுத்தது காஃபி கொடுக்கணும் காரம் வேணுங்கிறது காரத்துக்கு பன்னெண்டுன்னு சொன்னால் உடனே சண்டைக்கு வர்றது இது டெய்லி எங்களுக்கு நடக்குது பிரச்சனை ஒரே பில்லில் ஒரு ஃபேமிலிக்கு டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்டாக ஜிஎஸ்டி போட்டு கொடுக்கறது கஷ்டமாக இருக்குது ஒரு பண்ணுக்கு ஜிஎஸ்டி கிடையாது பண்ணுக்குள்ள ஒரு கிரீம் வச்சுட்டு அதுக்கு பதினெட்டு பர்சன்ட் ஆயிடும் கஸ்டமர் என்ன சொல்கிறாரு நீ கிரீமையும் ஜாமையும் கொண்டா நானே வச்சுக்கிறாங்க கடை நடத்த முடியல மேடம் அதனால் ஒன்றா எல்லாத்துக்கும் ஒரே மாதிரி ஜாஸ்தி பண்ணிடுங்க இல்லைண்ணா இன்னொன்று இதே அம்மா வந்து உங்கள் எம்எல்ஏ அம்மா தான் இதெல்லாம் பண்ணுறதுங்க அவங்க எங்கள் தொகுதியில் இருக்காங்க கடையில் வந்துட்டு வடநாட்டில் அதிகம் ஸ்வீட்டு சாப்பிட்றாங்க அதனால தான் அம்மா இங்கே அதுக்கு அஞ்சு பர்சன்ட்டும் காரத்துக்கு பன்னெண்டு பண்ணிட்டாங்கிறாங்க நான் சொன்னேன் இல்லைங்க அப்படியெல்லாம் இல்லை தமிழ்நாட்டில் ஸ்வீட் காரம் காஃபி அப்படி தான் போகும் அதனால் தயவு செஞ்சு அதை கொஞ்சம் கன்சிடர் பண்ணுங்க மேடம் ஒரே மாதிரியா பண்ணுங்க தனித்தனியாக வைக்காதீங்க ஏன்னா வீடு ஒரு ஃபேமிலி வந்து கம்ப்யூட்டரை தண்டருது மேடம் பில் போடுறது அவர் கேள்வி கேட்கல பண்ணுக்கு இப்போ இப்படி ரேட்டு பண்ணுக்கு டேக்ஸ் இல்லைங்க ஆனால் பண்ணில் க்ரீம் போட்டு கொடுத்தா அது வேறு ரேட்டாக இருக்குது இதெல்லாம் எங்கள் கம்ப்யூட்டரால் ஏற்றுக்க முடியல கம்ப்யூட்டரே தின்னுறதுன்னு ரொம்ப ஜனரஞ்சகமாக பேசினார் ஜனரஞ்சகன்ற வார்த்தை இப்போ தமிழில் புழக்கத்தில் இருக்கோ இல்லையோ தெரியல ஆனால் காதால் கேட்குறவங்களுக்கு ஆஹா அப்படின்ற மாதிரி பேசினாங்க தப்பு ஒன்றும் இல்லை அவர் அவரோட ஸ்டைலில் அவர் பேசுகிறாரு ஜனரஞ்சகமா பேசுறதுனால ஜிஎஸ்டிக்கு பரம விரோதமா இருக்கக்கூடிய மக்களுக்கு அது ரொம்ப ஆதாயமா கிடைக்கும் பாத்தீங்களா ஊருக மாமிய கேள்வி கேட்டாரு அதுவும் என்ன சிரிக்கிறாங்க எல்லாரும் அந்த அம்மாவுக்கு விஷயம் தெரியுமா நான் யாரோட காமெண்ட்டுக்கும் கவலைப்படுறது இல்லைங்க ஜிஎஸ்டியே நல்லா எளிமையாகவும் சுலபமா ஃபாலோ பண்றதுக்கும் மக்கள் மீத கடுமையா ரேட் இல்லாம இருக்கிறதுக்கும் எத்தனை முயற்சி பண்ணோமோ அத்தனை முயற்சி நாங்க எல்லாரும் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கோம் All right, I'm being joined by Dr. S. Vijay Dharmi, Dharmi as well as uh, Matthew Anthony S. Vijay Dharmi, leader for the BJP as well as Matthew Anthony, who's a spokesperson for Congress. Um, also, I'm being joined by Salem Dharmi Dharan, who's a spokesperson for DMK and Zoravar Kalra, who's a founder and managing director for Massive Restaurants. I'm really sorry to our panelists. We had Arvind Kejriwal walk out of jail, so we were really stuck and we couldn't come before. We would have loved to have more on this. But first, let me straight go across at this point to uh, the BJP leader, S. Vijay Dharni. Vijay Dharni, ma'am, what really happened? Why did the BJP have to go and post a public apology? I mean, look at that interaction. It was quite tongue-in-cheek. It was quite interesting for a viewer or for anybody. It was in the associations. And... Nirmala Sita Raman, the minister also, you know, had a laugh about it. What happened for BJP to spin it around and make a private apology? Then public opposition is saying you forced an apology. No, no, these are all no things uh, uh, abetting this issue. Uh, I don't think these are all the major issues concerned in this matter. 
the uh, uh, Annapurna's owner, when he's talking about the issue, he's seriously talking about a GST issue, which definitely have to be discussed Correct. in the GST council by the uh, all the states, the even the page. state chief ministers who are partners in the GST council and the central uh, GST uh, yeah, responsible people like the minister. They have to take a decision on issues, what has been spoken by the uh, person. Definitely, the major issue to be concentrated is getting sidelined by all other issues. Like, uh, he tried to go once again, take an Who appointment and it? meet the minister. Let me ask to you that question. Who sidelined it? Who sidelined no, it, is... according to you? Was it the BJP See, that did a so self-goal? No, there's so much of trolling happening in this issue, uh, both in the media and the social media. So the main issue of GST and the issues, what he spoke is getting sidelined. According to me, one has to give importance okay, to what he spoke. Okay, we have a hotel here to whether talk about that. Vijayadhani, ma'am, as I apologized, I'm really sorry. I don't have much time to dwell in this topic, but I do want to go to all of our panelists one by one. Uh, very quickly, Mr. Salem. What's your response to what you heard the BJP say right now? Uh, is this a self-goal or is this quite not acknowledging what a real issue is? Though, quite frankly, Nirmala Sitaraman took it quite uh, uh, with a chuckle. No, the simple is very simple. See, let me not go into nitty uh, considering the paucity of time. The only one thing about GST is that it's really, really badly implemented. You don't have any GST on diamond and at the same time, you have GST on medical insurance. So there is no clear demarcation on what is essential and what is not essential. That's one aspect of it. And again, how it complicates business, right? The, like business has been complicated because of GST. And this is this tr trouble the MSMEs. But third and the foremost point is how BJP does not want to hear criticism. The businessman was made to go and apologize. And, and BJP itself has released it. I know, retrospectively, the BJP spoke, I mean, BJP uh, head for Tamil Nadu, Anamalai, apologized. But the fact of the matter is that, why release that video? Are they trying to show to the other businessmen in Tamil Nadu that if you will ask questions, legitimate, that you we will come after you? Is that what the BJP is trying to show? What is the rationale of showing it? The only rationale can be that they want to instill uh, fear and also to show to the people of Tamil Nadu, see, this guy have made him apologize. It's, it's about a ego war winning, and second, it's like a threat. That's how I see it to the other businessmen. But the in, end point is... As I DMK have to go to BJP for a response, but before that, Matthew Anthony, do you, want to, do you want to add, do, are you on the same page as Mr. Salem? Uh, Sneha, on a lighter note, uh, Srinivasan Anna should have asked uh, Parakala Prabhagar on how to ask questions to the finance minister. On a serious note, uh, what you need to see is, you know, the body language of uh, the finance minister. When she spoke the word elema, which is humility, there was absolutely no humility in her. She has been completely, outrightly arrogant. Whereas Srinivasan Anna, on behalf of the hotelier industry, has said that, why can't you simplify it and have a one single rate for the entire industry? Or, you know, that makes the billing easier. And this arrogance of BJP, not only with Nirmala Sitharaman, you have seen Urvashi Upadhyaya, Niti Aayog uh, director, made a comment on Smriti Irani. You have seen Kangana Ranaut. You have seen uh, Pragnya Thyakur. Everybody has personified arrogance. And this is exactly what is the BJP's problem. They don't, they don't appreciate a descending view in the democracy. They don't appreciate a differing view in the democracy, nor a feedback okay. from the people. Okay. That's exactly what we are saying. BJP is completely arrogant on this. And Nirmala... See that Amin is arrogance personified. Okay. Okay, I have Zoravar Kalra with me, but before I go to him, and he's an important voice because he's going to represent the industry. S. Vijay Dharani, very quickly, I give you only 30 seconds for paucity of time. Respond to the allegation of uh, intimidating business persons plus arrogance of the BJP. See, I was earlier in the Congress party. When Congress was ruling... Such issues came up in various matters. Even Times Now has many times put uh, brought about to the public where uh, when we speak on such issues, all the time it was targeted that when Congress was in ruling, they will say that we are uh, persons who speak for it is arrogant. And when now BJP is in ruling, 
uh, they keep telling that whenever we try to okay. explain all right uh, whenever okay. the minister try to explain okay. they Again, say apologies yeah, for interrupting i have to go to zoravar kalra you've made your political <laughs> point i gave you time to retort zoravar kalra how much of a truth is this i need to know from you as a non political person as a person who runs the restaurant and is part of the chain himself he runs it um how complex is gst for anybody who's running the restaurants Hi, thanks for having me on board. Obviously, I do not have a political view, so I'm going to stick to representing the NRI and the industry's point of view. Yes, There is a huge amount of complexity. Before July 2017, when the GST came into play, the GST regime came into play, the compounded annual growth rate for our industry was around 21%, which means every three, three and a half years, the industry was almost doubling in size. Today, if you look at it, 2024, we're down to about 12%. And one of the key reasons is not just the complexity in the different slabs, but one of the key things that is actually the biggest impediment to the growth of this industry. And by the way, it's a very important industry. We're the second largest employer of human capital in India after Absolutely. agriculture. We're also contributing between 2 and 3% to the country's GDP, the fifth largest GDP in the world. So the problem is the lack of input tax credit. That is, the, that is against the very grain of the uh, original reason why GST was formed. Why would the industry of the restaurants and hotels, uh, well, five-star hotels do get input tax credit, restaurants don't. So why has the restaurant industry been singled out? The problem with that is it's literally the difference between surviving and thriving. It's not even about a difference. Uh, it's not even about a high margin rate industry. This is the highest failure rate industry in the world. The COVID was a huge block for us. It created huge impediments. The problem right now is not just about the slabs the gentleman before posed to the finance minister. That is one problem, of course. The biggest problem is the lack of input tax credit, which we as an industry should be getting because it is in tune with the original ethos of the GST regime, and we're not getting and literally is right. the difference between having double the number of people employed. We currently employ about 10, 10 million people directly, so. right? That's a huge amount of people. And that could be easily doubled. The exchequer, the government, the patron, as well as the industry would benefit if ITC is restored. It is our biggest request. It is not a matter of thriving. It's literally a matter of survival. We suffered a lot during the COVID. We're expecting some kind of... Um, uh, some kind of support from the government. I'm sure in the next right. few GST cycles, right. they're going to consider this in a positive manner. The cream and bun thing is one thing, but the main thing is the fact that we need input tax credit just to keep our heads right. and necks above right. water. I'm, I'm, I apologize. I'm being told to wrap. This was meant to be a half an hour discussion. We had to cut it short to 12 minutes because of Arvind Kejriwal walking out of jail. But to our panelists, this is a very complex issue. Of course, it gets a color of a lot, the way the exchange has happened, but it's a hugely important issue. And the opposition has been demanding reforms in the GST. And of course, Nirbala Sitaraman herself has said that several of these aspects are being reviewed. But thank you very much to our panelists, S. Vijay Dharni, Matthew Anthony, Salem Dharni Dharan, as well as Zoravar Kalra. Thank you very much for joining us.